I, in the I, building. I, I the street the executives. George Musselbach. DJ, DJ, DJ. Technique. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Young Brink. You're tuning in to the number one music and entertainment and award winning. Y'all see the trophies. Talking about none other than Brink TV. Now, do not adjust your TV set. You know what I'm saying? We got a familiar face to the Brink TV show. I'm talking about this boy got more hits than Ike Turner. I'm talking about <laughs> I Heart Memphis. What's what it do? What it do? What it do, man? It's your boy, I Heart Memphis, man. You know, what's Lead up with it. you, man? Good? Hey, I'm super good. Hey, first and foremost, I got to say, thanks for coming on the show. You I know what I'm saying? It means a lot to I you. On the couch again, uh, again. You know what I'm saying? Got we gotta you, make man. this happen. So, you've been grinding. You've yeah. been making moves. You've been making it happen, man. Tell the people what can we expect. It's 2018. Tell the people what can we expect. Man, new lit stuff. Man, new lit situations. You know what I'm saying? Just new lit situations. Um, you know, it's coming. Okay. If you know me, you know it's coming. Believe that. <laughs> Believe it. Now, one thing we haven't done since we've had you on the show before, let's see if we can go into the beginning. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's talk about the humble beginnings. Let's talk about the origin of I Heart Memphis, man. How long have you been doing music? Uh, three years, four, uh, almost four. Probably going into four. Okay. Since 2014. Okay, okay. So, so coming up, you know, as a youngster, like who you had in your headphones? Wayne. I know I'm from Memphis, so I bumped Gotti. Yeah. You know, in that era of generation, that's who we bumped. Right. Uh, Wayne. Yeah. yeah. Plenty Wayne. <laughs> Plenty Wayne. Believe that. Believe that. All right. So, one thing I want to talk about. I remember seeing you in an interview with the Breakfast Club. Uh -huh. of now, one thing they said, I believe it was Charlemagne, he was talking about, because you was talking about the likes. You know what I mean? Okay. Having likes Follow and followers. And and followers. He didn't understand that logic. I get it. Kind of, let's, let's explain to them how you turn likes into money. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, it's number one, you get the people's attention, right? Uh -huh. Okay, you take that attention. Next thing you know, whatever you selling, whether it's merchandise, whether, because you used to sell. Then you, you sell. I sell. I sell. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. So, that's how you turn likes into money. It ain't no, you know what I mean? It ain't just, you take the attention, you divert the attention into cash. That's yes. how it works. Yeah. You get it. And when that's you said blessing. it, I read That's it. the I pressure. It's the blessing. Yeah. That's the blessing to have that pressure. But, you know, a lot of people can't do this being an entertainer. Right. If you're making money off doing something other than uh, the people that used to know you for doing, right. you and you are entertainer. Yeah. Rapping, sports, whatever. Yeah. You popping. You an entertainer. That's you got true. a fan base. You an entertainer. That's you true. entertain people. Yeah. It just some people stick to just this one thing. Right. People just stick. You know, you have to be a balanced entertainer. You right. have to know when the hey, it's time for me to dip and dab and do this or dip and dab and do that. Hold off on this and do that. You know, and a lot of things, a lot of entertainers don't do is save and invest. Yeah, that's where they go wrong. Yeah, you feel? It's cool that, like I said, you get it. You know, people pay for that type of attention. True. True. And you you 100%. get it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I mean. People do, mm -hmm. but um, as you can see in this era, in this generation, right. social media is helping a lot more. You yeah. know, uh, social media free app, yeah. and it's and when people can get on social media right. and show their character and show their talents, right. just by pushing a button, yeah. it's getting out there faster, and their attention grow and the followers grow. And right. People say, "Hey, let me put this person up and book them and put a check in his pocket." That's what you we're talking understand. about. Plenty you understand? Know, get that? Yes. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about, of course, the hit that really transcended and put you out there was Hit the Corn, right? Absolutely. Okay, I had Buck Nasty on the show last year, and we was talking about some of the celebrities we saw actually doing the dance. Uh -huh. Who were some of the celebrities that you saw that you it just blew your mind? You was like, dang, they really messing with me. The Rock. Yeah. Gotta say Chris Brown. Yeah. Um... Kendrick yeah, Lamar. Was, I think, didn't Chris Brown, he did that like a part of his on concert. Tour, like, it's, it's set, right? Man, on tour. Um... Kendrick Lamar and Terry Crews. Yeah, they did it in the video. That's right. You know, that's right. Um, everybody, man. Yeah. And all the fans and every, you know, about every race and right. every team and every school and, you know, it was, it was a remake of 
what Soldier did in 07. Right. Right. You know, it yep. was the it's it's the new generation type of dancing. The new way. Believe it's that, new. believe that. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Memphis for a minute. You know, of course, Memphis, they got the the you know, the leaders of the pack, I would say, you know, your juicy J's, your young dogs, your yo Gotties. Now, every now and then Memphis gets an artist that kind of shows and reassures the city that, hey, we can do this. You know what I mean? Not only do they show and reassure the city, but the world, like exactly. showing the people, y'all want to know what talent at? Memphis. Mm. And you definitely were one of those artists. I feel like you you were one of the artists that opened the doors for the, the, the younger generation. Because like I say, to me, it kind of felt like it was a gap, you know? Like I say, we did have the, the dolls and the trips and all them, but then after that, it was like, yeah. who? And then I Heart Memphis comes in. I'm talking about sweep the nation, nation. You know what I'm saying? Hit the corner. Like, like, how, how does that feel for you? And do you have any advice for the other up and coming artists that's coming out watching? Man, it feels like the best um, respond yeah. to all the hating, to all the negativity people said to me, to all the hurtful stuff you know just all the bull me yeah. going through everything i went through yeah even with you no know, the case you know going through it for two years spending yeah. a lot of money yeah. you know for me to transition like that man it just feel great man yeah. i just think it just made me want to get closer to god it right. just made me want to thank god bro i just get on my knees because you know i could have been like yeah 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 woo. i i know 100 percent yeah I used my platform correctly. Right. When I was blessed, I used my platform correctly. I gave back correctly. Mm -hmm. I showed the people the wave. I showed the people how to love. I brought people together. I gave back, started foundations. Right. I did my part. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I did my part. And I got a chance to see how the universe was going to react right. to me doing my part. Yeah. So the only advice I can get to anybody out there, man, be yourself. Yeah. That's what's up. That's be what's yourself. up. Now, one thing I want to talk about real quick, like we've seen a couple other artists from the city, and this ain't no shade. Dude. Hey, you bring know, that's it not what I'm trying bring to. Do. That's not what I'm trying to bring do. But to me. we see other artists from the city, and they have dance songs. Now, does that bother you at all? Or I mean, do you embrace it? Do you? you know, I embrace how, how you it. For example, Black Boy JB, he Definitely. got the shoot. Definitely. I prefer. I. I I come out playing that joint, yeah. open up to it, cause I know the people love it. Right. Why would right. I hate on somebody that got a following, a fan base, and somebody who got a platform? Right. Even you know, I reached out to him. He yeah. got my number. I got his. Believe you it. know, hopefully we see some collabs in the future. You know, that might be doing this thing. You feel me? So. Most of. You know, that's how it is. They yeah. might doing this thing. I I never even J Money. You know, rest right. in peace to J right. Money, man. That was my man. That was, you know. Re you know, regardless of all the negativity, man, dude was a good, good dude, man. He was a great dude, man. And and even when he had to share thought records, yeah, yeah, people yeah, jumping yeah. on me. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is my line. This is what I do. I turn up. You feel me? Yeah. So no, it ain't no shade to nobody. Huh? You know, every person used to dance. He's That's from true. Memphis. You know, That's Memphis, true. Memphis got it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, so let's embrace everybody. You feel? Believe that. Believe that. Another thing I like to talk about, like. With a lot of the uh, Memphis artists that's popping right now, a lot of them kind of, you know, they're kind of gangster. You know, yeah. do you ever feel that pressure to change up your style or? Like you I said, I got, you got to be yourself, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I ain't weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody pull no videos up of me getting beat up, bro. Right, right. Can't nobody, uh, you know, pull up no, you know, pics of no full gaze. You know, I ain't never right. been a full gaze person. Right. You know, I know I'm I'm real and you know, I'm a 100 individual cause I'm real with myself. Believe so it. with that being said, you know, I don't have to go around and show nobody yeah. what, what's in my bank account. Right. These folks right. know what I'm doing. These yeah. folks see what's going on. Yeah. I ain't gotta go around. I, I don't have to do these things cause I'm a businessman before yeah. anything. That's right. That's so a right. lot of stuff will go against my policy. Yeah. I mean, do you ever see the the, the CEO of McDonald's going around stunning? No, mean, man. Never you see know, it. a long time ago, a person told me this, man. You know, um, Pepper Mouth for the South. You know, he bought up something real small, and he, you know, and he placed it down. And he said, "Look around you," and he pointed back down. He said, "That's Memphis," and he said, "Look around you. That's the world." And when he said that, man, you know. A lot of people just used to where they from. That's right. all they know. Right. You can't do better if you don't know better, bro. That's true. That's you know? True. 
You can't do better when you don't know better. I done traveled the world three times. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I done went on tours, nationwide tours with, with Live Nation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, same tours that put Beyonce and Chris Brown them on. You know what I'm saying? I done went platinum. You know, I done went gold on second track. I done traveled the whole world being in and out. I done did this. Been on Ellen. Ellen, B BT Awards. True. The Real. You know, um, Wildin' Out. I done did this, bro. You feel me? Yeah. And just gotta be 100. It's a lot of hype at the top. You gotta keep on working. You gotta be smart. You know, you gotta be smart and you gotta treat people right. That's true. You gotta make sure you treat people right. Cause if you don't treat people right, it ain't gonna last. Once you have a downfall or something happen, they gonna talk about you. You gonna have more enemies than you already have winning. Yeah. So, you know. Hey, he dropping gems. I'm talking about the homie I Heart Memphis. Hey, do not change that channel. We'll be right back. What's happening, everybody? I'm Young Brink, host of the number one music and entertainment talk show in Memphis and the Mid-South, Brink TV. And of course, these are my awards. But let me cut to the chase. I got a question for you guys. When was the last time that you were on television to promote your business or your music? You can't answer that, can you? Well, check this out. The Bring TV show, we interview artists, entrepreneurs, basically all forms of entertainment. So if you rap, sing, model, or you're a comedian, hey, we invite you to the Bring TV couch. Now we also play music videos, so if your video ain't too ratchet and you got a clean song, we can play it for you. Business owners, we play TV commercials as well, so contact us. And be sure to check us out each and every Tuesday night, Comcast Channel 31 at 9.30 p.m. If you don't have Comcast, you're in luck. Just go to BrinkTVShow.com and check out the live stream. And of course, we back Brink TV, number one music and hip hop TV show, entertainment, whatever you want to call it, Brink TV award winning. Like I said, man, we got the homie I Heart Memphis on the couch. Hey, he dropping gems. We talking about 2018 because it is 2018. So let's talk about this music, man. What you got cracking? What you working on, huh? Man, I'm the type of guy, I do what I want. You yeah. feel me? I do what I want with God. Yeah regardless i'm gonna do what i want you know so when i feel like it's time for me to drop something you know i might want to just drop i might just want to just drop a, a a single i might just want to drop a single for two three years in a row whatever i, I want to do i just do it yeah. you know what i'm saying i'm just building a platform just keep building my platform up and giving back i know uh that the youth and dancing and just being on social media is huge right now so i'm taking advantage you know yeah. i would call myself the social media goat yeah do, 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 do you feel you. where i'm, I'm coming from I'm when i say what i say I'm with you. I'm you know with what i'm saying you. like you understand me i'm with you man i done started this off since I was a security guy, bro, yeah. in 2012, you know what I'm saying? Working overnight, following and unfollowing people. I always strategized. Right. Before right. I came in and made his, I always strategized, right. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, I I do get comfortable at times. Yeah. But when, um, you know, we only get comfortable when we have stuff going on in our personal life. That's true. That's, That's true. the only time people get away from their work and their job. That's true. It's when their personal life bothering them. So, of course, we're going to go through trials and tribulations. Well, let me ask you this. Like, have you, you know, been going or anything? Or, I mean, everything good? What's happening? What's possible? Yeah, everything good, man. You know, just, uh, you know, everything good. I'm with, I'm with. Um, just human beings, man, dealing yeah. with people, you know, trying to make sure you stay close to the family. Right. Really stay close to God. Right, right. Uh, all the fame and the people around you, man, to suck you dry, bro. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know what I'm saying? Just... Because I'm pretty sure, man, like, well, first thing, let me ask you, what you do when you got that first big check, man? Saved it. Okay. And was, and, and was like, man, like, dang, because I didn't think it was real. Right. Like, right. I, I got to hold this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Save it. Yeah. You know, all right. So, my my piggyback question off of that, I'm pretty sure folks start coming at you with the hands out. I'm talking about friends, family, ex friends, ex girlfriend, all yeah. that. Well, I mean, how, how do you handle that, man? You know what? Um, more, more money, more problems. Yeah, you know, a lot of times when you're making a lot of money, the money people asking for you don't seem a lot because yeah. it's like, dang, I, I got a lot, but to them, it's, yeah. it's a lot, yeah. So People are nickel and dime you to death. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? That, but I'm, I'm cheap. I always been cheap. My manager you. cheap. I feel you. Um, I don't try to impress people to that extent. Too, okay. you know? I don't wear all kind of design and Gucci Louis. Not yet. I don't yeah. do, you know what I'm saying? I don't see no, you know, I, 
I got plenty of money, but I ain't trying to go out like that. You know Last time saying? I checked, the CEO or the president of McDonald's wearing Walmart clothes. Okay. So I don't need that matter. You know what I'm saying? Understand I mean, me, I don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's all about I, what's up here. I got my teeth fixed. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, so he definitely spending that money on. Yeah, yeah, yeah got believe my teeth that. Believe that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we, we still palm tree. What's up? PTE forever. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Shout out Miami Mike. Yeah. Shout out the team. It's a DMG South Soldier. Shout out Cat. Shout out, you know, everybody, man, who uh, was part of the movement in the beginning. Uh, DJ Tony T, Butt Nasty, yeah. uh, you know, Brene. Shout out everybody, man, who, you know, who who built the foundation with our heart Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Especially PT, man. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Dude did and showed me stuff people can't ever show and do. Yeah. You feel me? Dude, he the, he the GOAT. Yeah, that's uh, true. That's he true. a mogul, man. Dude yeah. is the truth. I appreciate him for being who he was with me and how real he was. So, man, I love Mike, you know. One thing funny about Miami Mike, man, when I first met him, he said, yeah, I'm in Memphis, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie Kobe Bryant. He got me tickets to the Lakers game. Next thing I see the man kicking with Kobe for real. Like everything, bro, say he, he was official. Bluffing. He dude, was official. Dude, he, dude say he respected and well connected. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> CEO say he respected yeah. and well connected. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? Dude, uh, dude is the plug and I'm the, I'm the socket. Yeah. And man, a lot of people, uh, they sleeping on me. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't know what's gonna come up, but, um, you know, got a lot in the works, man. 2018. Now, let's talk about aside from music, man. What you into in your spare time? Like you a PS4 like, guy? Geez. You a Xbox One I'm guy? Game. I'm real competitive, so I'm real like playing the game. Cause if I start losing, man, I'm sort of losing. Controller down. Next thing you know, you done broke. <laughs> I try not to even let my 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 anger get like this, yeah, man. Yeah. But I just love winning, bro. You, you feel me? I don't okay. settle, man. Yeah. I just, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Joe? Play any sports or anything like that. I play it? football. I play every sport in the world. Okay. I play. I did golf, cross country. Man, you will be surprised. I play Man, football, football, man. I'm high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Defense. I'm killing, stopping play. I'm strong safety, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I play ball. I was short, but I thought I was, I was center. Right. You know, I play tennis, soccer. I just like having fun. Baseball, baseball, fun, but them balls going that fast. Yeah. I wasn't really into baseball like yeah, that. I feel but, uh, fo football was cool. Football was cool. So what you doing to stay in shape these days? You know, you got a lot of people, you know what I mean? I With dance. Okay. okay. I do a little dance. Uh, um, I do push-ups at night and stuff. You Believe know? that. My legs ain't that big, but you know, my upper body, yeah. I be working on my upper body. And okay. Stuff, so, you know. Cause like I say, it's 2018, a lot of people trying to lose weight. Any tips you got for them, anything like that or what? Man, you know, be consistent, you know what I'm saying? Like, believe in yourself, like, push yourself. Ain't nobody gonna help you if you don't help yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for the ladies, you know, do like 10, 15 sit-ups you know like hold yourself up or get somebody else to hold you up do 10 and for the for the for the guys you know do some push-ups do 15 20 push-ups a night that's every night just 15 20 push-ups now you ain't gonna see the results in the same year but that year next you're gonna be like wow i'm glad that i did it because it's gonna work but you gotta start somewhere start tonight you know what i'm saying ladies do the 15 sit-ups man do the 15 push-ups and do that for a month it's gonna become a habit you can thank me later Believe it, believe it. Like I say, man, he dropping gems on the people, man. Go ahead and give them all your social media before we go out. Man, I Heart Memphis on everything, you know what I'm saying? Snapchat, uh, official I Heart. Uh, YouTube, follow me on um, I Heart Memphis TV. Finna drop my next dance single. Uh, it's gonna be called I'm Popping Challenge. New dance challenge is gonna take over the nation. And um, it's coming, so be ready. And sorry for the wait. Believe that. Any uh, message you got for the fans? Anything you want to let the people know? Always have faith in God. Respect yourself and respect others. And remember, you don't get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate. Come correct. Believe that. With that being said, thanks for coming on the show again. I got you, fam. Now back to more Brink TV.